to vinyasa uh, yoga. I'm Daniel Guide Your Practice. And um, most important thing this morning is please take care of yourself, honor your body. Whatever is going on for you, please adapt and adjust. And uh, I do have my computer nearby in case there are any technical difficulties. Send me a little chat message and I can um, troubleshoot. Otherwise, uh, that is it. Enjoy the practice. Um, and uh, one of the things that I did want to talk about today, uh, um, I won't go into too many details because it's morning, but uh, it's this idea in yoga that is called a passive and active range of motion. So, um, their human beings have both active and passive range of motion. Active range of motion is basically what you can do on your own with uh, mechanical movement. So it's like me being able to move my leg to a, a certain place by itself. Passive range of motion would be if I actually take my, uh, my limbs and um, a part of my body or gravity and help myself out. So, uh, just as an example of this that's really evident is in tree pose. So in tree pose, this is my active range of motion. This is how far I can go just by myself. But then my passive range of motion would be actually me grabbing my hand and manipulating my body to go deeper in. So there's nothing inherently wrong with passive um, uh, passive movement. It's just, uh, it's okay to take our uh, body and joints to their end range of motion to some degree. But if we're doing this all the time, for some people, this can actually create aggravation because you're taking it past um, really what is your own individual end range of motion. So uh, just something to contemplate and think about. If you want to read lots more about it, if you go to a website, it's called Shut Up and Yoga. It's an interesting name. Uh, but there's a great article there. Uh, by Dr. Garrett Neal. So if you uh, are, um, you can search for that under their movement tab, and he talks lots more about that. So we're going to play a little bit with this idea and also use a block to create some activation in the body and working more with this active range as opposed to um, the passive range just for today. Okay, so come up to a standing position. And um, if you do have a little block or something that could be used like a block, you're actually gonna use it right here to place it in between the inner thighs and utilize um, the best measure of hip distance apart. So if you have a block, um, sometimes moving it the other direction, that might actually mirror more of your own hip distance. So check in here with your body. And come into a supportive stance, make any little adjustments in your knees, shoulders, head, neck. And then do take a moment to notice your stance and adjust a stance that is rooted and supported here, activating into the feet, lengthen all the way from your hips to the top of your head. And check in if your low back is way, way curved, like even beyond your natural low back curve, ribs jutting forward. Invite a little bit of softening through the ribs so you're evening out, hip stacked below your shoulders. With the top of your head pressing to the sky, take a deep, full breath. Exhale to open it out, release your breath through the mouth. Again, deep, full inhalation. Exhale to let it go. Invite your eyes to soften partway or completely closed. Take a moment to land here to arrive, however long whatever else has been happening for you over this morning or the last couple of days. Take this opportunity to come into this present moment. This time that you've carved out to be an in inquiry, to be in practice, to explore the human body, your human body. 
And from here, start to amplify your breath on an inhale. Breathe more fully, expand the arms up to the sky. Take a little sun breath motion. Exhale, palms lower down through heart center. Palms release down. Again, inhale to open, arms rise. Exhale to lower. One more time, breath in, arms extend to the sky. With the exhalation, pause, hands in front of your own heart center. And take time to create focus, direction for your time on your space, in your space here. And it could be anything that you need, anything that you need for more support for the day or for the next couple of days. What is it that you can call in to bolster, to uplift? It could be a simple quality like connection, strength, healing, grace, openness, perspective, forgiveness. And to acknowledge this, each other's company here, gently bow head to heart center. And slowly release your arms by the side of your body with your feet still rooted into the ground. Inhale to sweep, arms rise back up to the sky. With the exhalation, take your hands to your heart center. With inhale, extend, arms rise back up. Open your arms a little wider here so your shoulders are at ease. Reconnect to your feet, even invite a little bend in your knees for a moment, then activate. Lengthen from hips all the way to the top fingers, mountain pose, chin at neutral, finding the balance in the places in your body. Staying aware again, if your low back curve is way accentuated beyond your natural place, creating that evenness of the ribs, soften just a little bit. Stay with a deep, full breath, option to layer on ujjayi or ujjayi pranayama, ocean-sounding breath. Feel free to deepen, contract the back of the throat a little bit, ocean hum. And notice if there's any heat sensation building here through your arms, honoring anything there. Starting the practice in a really stable, connected place place that feels even and balanced for you. One more inhale. With the exhalation, release your hands to your thighs, bend your knees just a little bit, create a low back curve, open your front body cow stretch. Exhale to back off the bend, scoop and round, shoulders coil in, cat stretch. Inhale again, press back open, work with your own rhythm, exhale to round. Continue to squeeze your block or prop in between your legs just to fire the inner adductors, creating a little bit more activation. Final cycle here to round. With the inhale, straighten through your torso, spine, arms lift. Exhale, lean over to the right side. Stay on this side, inhale through center, exhale again over to the right little arc through your side body. Coordinate your movement and your breath one more time here. Inhale to lift, both arms extend to the sky, exhale opposite side. Final cycle here, your own rhythm, rhythm and speed arc. And with the inhale, lift back up through center, both arms extend. With the exhale, hinge your hips, fold forward, grab your prop if it's there. Place it out in front in forward fold. Inhale to lift and lengthen halfway, rise, spine long. So it's a little L shape in your body. Exhale to fold back down. Inhale again, lengthen halfway, rise. Exhale to fold. One more time, inhale to elongate partway up. 
with your exhalation, fold forward, micro bend your knees as much as you need for low back, hamstring support. Take your left hand to your block or the earth here. Bend through your left knee with the inhalation, spiral your ribs open to the right. Right arm follows, gentle twist. Exhale to lower back down, switch, little bend in the right knee, right hand to block or floor. Inhale to open, spiral, twist. Exhale to lower back down. One more time each side. With the exhale, as you lower back down, pause in the forward fold. Inhale to elongate halfway up. Exhale, fold back down to the ground. Hands touch down. Take a moment or two. Step back right into downward facing dog pose. Fingertips active. Bend your knees as much as you need for the low back. Hips press back. Head relaxed in between of your arms. You can always take tabletop position here instead of down dog. Make any movements that you need through your posture. Pedal out. Move your head, your neck. Deep breathing. And gradually pause any movement, stabilize through your pose. With the inhale, extend your right leg up to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, take your time, step your foot through in between your hands, lower your back knee down to the earth, double up your mat or uh, use a blanket here. Inhale to rise up. Extend arms to the sky with the exhalation. Lower your hands down. Take a moment to check in here. So notice if you've come way forward in your lunge, see if you can back off. So we're keeping the hips in line here with, um, and the front knee in line with the ankle below. If you have your block, grab it here. Inhale to extend. Arms rise to the sky. Both hands clasp and energize. So we're activating through the upper body hugging the block here. Stay with your breath. One more inhale. With the exhale, lower down, place, place your prop to the side. Take another breath to elongate back like high. With exhale, take your time. Step up to the front edge of your mat, forward fold. Inhale to lengthen halfway up. Exhale to fold down. Inhale to elongate partway. With the exhalation, bend your knees, shift the way back. Inhale to rise, circle the arms all the way up to the sky. Interlace your hands, either index finger to sky, thumb back, or take a box option. Exhale, hinge to the right. Inhale through middle, exhale opposite side. Inhale to lift, arms rise. With exhalation, lower your hands down. Take your feet a little wider than hip distance. Turn your toes out just a little bit. And with the inhale again, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees, shift the weight back. Little variation on chair. Inhale to rise. Exhale to shift down. Work a few times here, breath and movement to create a little bit of fire. Next time you sink down, option to pause and sustain for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale to lower your arms. Readjust your feet from the front edge of your space. Inhale to expand, arms lift. Exhale, hinge your hips, fold forward, forward bend. Inhale to rise, halfway lift, spine long. Mindful as you exhale, fold forward, step your left foot back behind you. Use an out breath to release your knee back down. So returning back to our lunge, inhale to extend, arms rise to the sky. With your exhalation, spin and twist to the right side of your space. Backhand can bend at the elbow for support. Use this as a moving exploration. Inhale, torso rotates back towards center. With the exhalation, very, very gentle rotation. Keep on moving here. 
So the reason we're doing the lunge this way um, relates back to this passive and active piece. If you go way forward with your front knee over the ankle, the hips sinking can throw off the low back ribs flare forward and that can create a lot of pressure on the hips and pelvis. So noticing what happens in this stability of the lunge. Next time you come forward, pause. Inhale to expand, arms rise to the sky. With the exhalation, lower, hinge down. Inhale to lift your back knee high. With the exhalation, take your time, step back, right into three-legged down dog, right leg high, take a breath. Exhale to lower your foot down, downward dog. With an inhale, roll forward, high plank pose, top of a push-up, stable and strong. Knees can always support. Use an exhale, lower to the ground your own way. Uncurl your toes, legs hip distance. Plant the hands, squeeze your glutes. With inhale, lengthen forward, then up cobra. Let it be a pulse. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Next time you rise up, option two, sustain your posture. Hands can even float off of your mat for a little bit more fire. Keep the leg stable, glutes engaged to protect your low back. One more inhale. Exhale to lower down, curl your toes under your choice, either tabletop or inhale. Right into reverse plank, everything hugs in. As you lift, press back, downward facing dog pose. Use an inhale, left leg rises to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot through in between your hands. Take your time to get there, lower your back knee. With the in-breath, extend torso and arms to the sky. And check in with your lunge, so keeping the hips level. From there, if you have your prop, grab it once again. Palms embrace the block, creating a little bit more fire through the upper limbs. Stay with the breath. Check in with your mental attention. Where is your focus, your awareness? Your thoughts are taking you away from this time. Honor them and then make the choice if it feels right to come back. One more deep inhale. Exhale to slowly lower back down. Frame your front foot. Inhale to elongate back leg high. Exhale, take your time. Step up, front edge of your space. Forward fold. Inhale to lengthen halfway up. L shape. With exhale, bend your knees. Shift the weight back. Inhale to circle. Rise up all the way to standing. Again, steeple position or box with the shoulders. Exhale to Lean over to the right side, this time pause. Fire up through the obliques, side muscles here of the body. Inhale to rise through center, exhale left arc, focus on elongation here. With inhale, lift back up through center. Exhale, lower your hands down by the side of your space. Again, take your feet a little bit wider. Toes open just a little bit. Notice if that shifts the comfort in your squat. With the inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, bend your knees, shift the weight back. You can pulse out and in, otherwise pause to sustain here. Deep connected breathing. With inhale, lift back up through center, readjust your feet, exhale, hinge and fold, forward fold, inhale to elongate partway, exhale to bow back down, step back with your right foot back behind, lower your back knee, inhale to lift up torso and arms to the sky, with exhalation revolve through your torso, hand to the side, back elbow can bend to support, now add the movement, inhale through center, exhale, rotate to your left. Honoring your own range of motion here. If 
Allowing our cycle to revolve and twist. With in breath, rise back up through center, arms extend. Exhale, lower frame your front foot. Inhale to lift your back knee. With the exhale, take your time. Step back, three-legged down dog. Take a breath once you're there. Exhale to lower downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank pose. Exhale, make your way onto your belly. With the in-breath, leg strong, glutes engage, cobra pose. Lengthen forward, then add a little bit of height, sustain, or pulse out and in. Relax through your mouth, your jaw. One more inhale. Exhale to lower back down, curl your toes, your choice, table or high plank. Inhale to lift. Exhale, make your way downward facing dog pose. Three rounds of connected cycles of breath here in downward dog. Knees can always come to the earth for tabletop. Check in what your body needs in this moment. With an inhalation, expand your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw in, knee towards body, little coil in. Inhale, extend, arms rise to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward. In between your hands, keep the back leg elevated. In breath to lift up, arms to the sky. And with the exhalation, lower your hands onto your hips. So in crescent lunge, another example here, sometimes there can be a really long stance. I'll do it, over-exaggerate. And then a deep sink, again, the low back with a lot of arch ribs flare forward. So in this version, just to play, see if you can take a little bit of a shorter stance, bend your back knee a little bit, keep your shoulders stacked with your hips so the low back curve is just in its natural place. So you'll see a little bit more of an elongation here through the crescent lunge as opposed to deep and long. A deep full breath here. With the exhale, bend through your elbows. Take cactus arms. One more breath in. With your exhalation, lean your torso. Hands come onto your front thigh. Torso comes at 45 degree. One more deep breath. With the exhalation, use your prop if you have it out in front. Both hands to your prop. It can also be the earth root into your right foot. Inhale to lift back leg high. With exhalation, little bend knee behind knee for a gentle squat. Inhale to extend, or maybe it's not gentle. Exhale to bend knee behind knee. Inhale to lift. Exhale, bend. One more time. With the inhale, extend your left leg long to the sky. On your exhalation, take foot behind foot, left foot to the side of your right foot so your legs are crossed as best you can inhale to lift up torso and arms to the sky right hand clasps your left wrist inhale to lengthen exhale arc over to the right side with inhalation lift back up through center exhale lower both feet come to center arms by the side of your space inhale to expand arms rise to the sky exhale hinge and fold forward bend in breath to lengthen halfway 
with exhalation fold down to the earth. Step back right into high plank pose. This time around, top of a push up, stabilize full breath. With the exhalation, lower all the way down onto your belly. Either take cobra pose or this time with the glute squeeze, little lengthen your tail to tone the low belly. Inhale to float, legs, torso, arms for Shalabhasana Locust pose. This can be a pulse out and in as well. Otherwise, sustain. One more in breath. Exhale to release. Hands plant, toes curled. Your choice. Make your way into downward facing dog. Your own rhythm here. Full breath in. With your exhalation, lower your knees down to the earth. Again, use as much support as you need for your knees here. Grab your prop if you have it, and breath to rise up with your torso. Block out in front, both palms connect again so the arms are staying strong. Inhale, deep breath. With your exhalation, squeeze your glutes to support your low back again as you start to lean back just a little bit here. Inhale to come back through center. Exhale, little lean back for core strength and back strength. Working together. Exhale to lean back. Inhale to lift. Inhale to rise back up through center block or prop to the side, tabletop, curl your toes. Inhale to lift, hips back, downward facing dog. And with an in-breath here, left leg rises high. Exhale, coil in, knee towards body. Inhale, leg to the sky. Exhale, take your time. Step your left foot in between your hands, leg strong. Inhale to rise up, arms and torso to the sky. Exhale, hands come to your hips. Adjust with a little bit of a shorter crescent lunge. Back knee in a little bend so the center of the body can stay level here. Avoiding the overflare of the ribs, the overextentuation of your low back. So everyone's low back curve is different, honoring where your body is at. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus arms. Inhale, arms rise to the sky. Exhale, lean forward, torso at 45 or so. Hands come onto your front of thigh to stabilize. Gradually here, use the support of the earth or your block. Inhale to pulse up, right leg floats. Exhale, little bend of both knees. Play here with your rhythm and breath. Final cycle here, deep breath in. With the exhalation, cross as best you can your right foot to the side of your left. Inhale to lift up, standing arms extend. Grab your left hand to your right wrist. Slowly arc over to the left side. So staying mindful here, it's not a really big pull on the wrist, just working a little bit of a tug, side body length. Inhale to come back through center, readjust your feet, neutral, arms released. Inhale to expand, arms rise to the sky. Exhale, hinge your hips, fold forward, forward bend. In breath to lengthen halfway up. Exhale to fold back down to the ground, step back, high plank pose. Use your out breath to lower all the way down onto your belly, your choice, cobra pose, or take a locust. Body active, hands can interlace here as well for an added little shoulder stretch, chin at neutral. 
looking down. One more in breath. Exhale to lower back down to your space. Hands plant, curl your toes. Inhale to rise up through high plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. And take three rounds of connected breaths here. Check in what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, what you're noticing through your practice here. Use an out breath to gradually release your knees down to the ground. Grab your prop once again. Inhale to rise up, torso lifts. Grab your prop, palms supported. And even squeeze and hug the fingers a little bit so there's more activation through the wrists. Inner legs active. Glutes squeeze, inhale, breath. With the exhalation, lean back. You can always come back out like we did last time. Otherwise, pause here and sustain for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale to come back through center. Take a moment, breath cycle. With an exhalation, again, lean back, super mindful that there's still elongation through your spine. Chin can tip a little bit, keeping the head level. Inhale to rise back up through center. Exhale, release your prop to the side. Curl your toes under. Inhale to press back, downward facing dog pose. With an inhalation, expand your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, coil in, knee towards nose, round. Inhale, leg to the sky. With exhalation, twist this time, right knee towards your left elbow. Pause and sustain here. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, leg to the sky. Exhale, step your foot through. In between your hands, shorten your stance right here. Back, bend knee, back knee bends as you inhale to lift up. Crescent lunge adjusted. Exhale, lean your torso forward, hand onto your front thigh, root into your right foot. With inhale, lift, back leg high, warrior three, full breath in. This time with the exhalation, sink back, back knee stays bent into our modified crescent lunge. Inhale, arms rise to the sky. With exhalation, gentle twist, open to the right. Inhale to lift back up through center. Exhale, lower down, step back, high plank pose, move through, feel free to add a upward facing dog if that supports you here, otherwise stay with cobra or locust, an up dog, super squeeze of the glutes to support the low back, downward facing dog at your own rhythm, and with an inhale, left leg rises high, exhale to coil knee towards nose, Inhale, leg high. Exhale, spin and twist. Left towards right elbow. Pause for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, leg to the sky. Exhale, step left foot through. In between your hands, shorten stance. Back knee in a bend. Inhale, rise up, crescent. Arms to the sky. With exhalation, lean forward. Hands to front thigh. Inhale, cycle, use another breath to lift, root into your left leg, little bend in the front knee, right leg extends, deep full breath here. Exhale to sink back, crescent lunge again, back knee bends, inhale to lift. Exhale, lower, oh, twist, open to the left side. And with the in-breath, rise back up through center. Exhale, lower back down, high plank pose. Top of a push-up, move through your own rhythm. It can also just be cat-cow or right into downward dog. And from down dog, take one full deep breath. 
Exhale, let it go. With inhalation, right leg extends back up to the sky. Exhale, coil knee to nose. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, go to the twist over towards the left. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, step your right foot through. Back knee bends a little bit here. Inhale to rise up crescent. With the exhalation, lean forward. Inhale to lift back leg high, right into warrior three. This time sustain, option to take any other posture shapes here. You can use hands to blocks, hands to heart center, arms like wings at T position. Stabilize back foot, lots of length. One more inhale. Exhale, land back down, crescent lunge, little bend in your knee. Inhale, arms rise to the sky. Exhale to lower down, move through your own flow, high plank pose. Finding yourself in downward dog. In breath to elongate, left leg high. Exhale, coil, knee towards nose. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, spin and twist to the right. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, step your foot through, in between, back knee in a little bend. Inhale to lift up strong, arms extend. Exhale, lean forward, hands to thigh. Inhale, root down, lift your back leg, back toes flare, lots of length through your whole body here, warrior three. Take any other posture expressions. With the uh, out breath, gradual sink back, bend to your back knee, inhale, arms rise, exhale. Step back, high plank pose, top of a push up, move through your own rhythm. Breath here. Find yourself downward facing dog pose. Three rounds of cleansing breaths in down dog. Remember, you can always take a tabletop child's pose, puppy stretch here. Exhale, slowly release your knees down to the ground. And from here, maneuver your hips to one side. Bring your feet out in front, grab your prop here. With your feet rooted, sitting bones, active spine, super long. Take your block again, either the pumps flat, you can also grip a little bit more here deep breath, focus on the elongation of your spine. So if there's over rounding here, create lots of lengths. With the next breath, shift the weight a little bit back, lift one foot, maybe the other foot off of the ground. Stabilize here. And check in if the low back is starting to curve in. Keep your elongation here from your hips all the way to your shoulders. One more full deep breath. Exhale to release. Feet down, take your hands underneath of your hamstrings, hands to forearms or elbows. Little rounding here, relax through your whole spine. And check in with your attention. Where is your focus in this moment? And gradually come back through center. Once again, grab your prop for support. Inhale, breath, lift your feet, side body full of lengths. You can remain right here or for a little bit more exploration, sink back to your own degree. The body does not have to be level to the earth. You can play 
with the inhale, it's a lift back up. Exhale, super control to shift back, hover to your own height. Inhale, exhale. A few cycles here, firing up through your core. Final cycle here, wherever you're at in the hover, pause for three, two, one, in breath to rise back up. Lower your prop, take a moment, hands to opposite, elbows, forearms, little rounding, soften through mouth, jaw. From there, gradually release your hands. Use the strength of your core. Inhale to lift. Lengthen. Make sure you take any props that you need with you back behind. Slowly roll all the way down onto the ground. Take your block. Place it in between your inner thighs here. Best you can, matching your hip distance. Arms by the side of your body, root into your feet, shoulders, squeeze your glutes here, a little scoop in the tail. With the inhale, now lift your hips and pelvis to rise in the bridge pose. So the activation of the glutes helping us out with the low spine. And stay right there. Or if it's comfortable, little scooch one shoulder, then the other hands interlace. So see if you can focus less on height and bridge, more on what's happening with the elongation of your spine. If there's any sort of crank or unnecessary pain, back off the height of the pose, you'll still get quite a bit in the, in the inquiry of your spine. Know that you can release this pose earlier than I guide you. Otherwise, opportunity to play with just a little bit of a longer holding here, acknowledging any turbulence, shaking in your body. Stay with a calm, connected breath, even as sensation or heat builds. And staying here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a full deep breath first. And let it be slow motion with your exhalation, taking another five or so counts to unlace the fingers if they're laced, release your shoulders slow, slow, slow as hips come back down to the earth. Take a moment to notice, to feel. From there, take your block out to the side space. Extend your left leg long. Bring your arms to T position or cactus position, right foot to inside of your leg or to the top of your left thigh. Create just a little bit of maneuver. Hips move to the right side of your space, keeping that now twist over to the left side. Right shoulder is your foundation and base. From there, breathe into the whole right side of your body.
use inhalation to lift back up through center space. Extend your right leg long, left knee bend, left foot to the ground. You can use it for a little leverage here to move your hips over to the left side, keeping that now twist over to the right. Left shoulder is your base. If your low back feels like it's over accentuated, create a little scoop through your tail. And breathe into the left side of your body, noticing what you're feeling there, what types of sensations are present. And with every out breath, let go of tension that is not serving you. And use an inhale to gradually lift back up through center space. Readjust your hips and pelvis to neutral. Both feet come onto the ground. And gradually from here, take your right ankle to your left thigh for figure four and noticing your own range of motion here. So no need to press the right knee towards the front edge of your space with a lot of intensity. So just land your ankle and let your knee do what it does. From there, this might be enough stretch. If you need more, lift your foot off of the ground. An option to interlace your hands here. And again, as best you can, keeping your knee, both knees in line with their respective hips unless you're a little tighter on the right side, totally fine if your knee is coming forward. Make any little micro movements here, little explorations. If you're not feeling much, start to use arm strength to hug your legs a little bit towards you. At the same time, press them equally away. This will dynamically intensify your stretch. One final inhale here. With your exhale, release your hands, extend your left leg long onto the earth, and take your right foot to the inside of your left leg. And again, to your own degree, here's a supine tree pose, wherever it just lands in a comfortable place. And keeping that, take your left arm up to the sky, bend your elbow, bring your left hand underneath of your head, left elbow to the side. It's creating a little pec stretch here for the left. And gradually, with an in-breath release, hand both knees bend. And take your left ankle to your right thigh. Figure four this side. Honor this side, whatever it needs in your stretch. Exploring the posture options that work for you here. If you're not feeling a lot with the right foot off the ground, use arm strength to hug the leg towards you, but at the same time equally resist away from you.
Send your breath into any areas of tension, tightness. Final breath in. Exhale to gently release, extend your right leg long onto your mat and take your left foot to the inner line of your right leg, finding just the place that it's comfortable without using any hand support, supine tree, keeping that inhale, your right arm to the sky. With the exhale, bend your elbow, take your right palm underneath of your head. Let gravity do the work here in this upper body stretch. Final deep inhalation here. Exhale it out, slowly release your hand, take a squeeze in towards center, make any little micro motions, hug in deep breath again. With your out breath, let it go, extend your body long onto your space. Use any layers, cover up, add, cover your eyes, make any adjustments for comfort for the final posture of relaxation. And as you settle into the support of the ground, allow your whole body to settle. Let go of any tension through your skin, your bones, your muscles. Soften through your neck, mouth, jaw. And release any tension from cheekbones and eyelids, forehead spacious. And give yourself this time to be here, rest, receive your time in movement in awareness, simply be. I'll guide you out in several minutes.
and very gradually become more aware of your own body as you rest. If you have a little bit more time, know that you can always stay here in the pause. Otherwise, with a fuller breath in, allow for little waking motions, slow movements through fingers and toes, head, neck, eyes, facial muscles. Gradually, knees rise up to center, roll over to either the right or left side in a fetal pose. From this place of acknowledging your self, all that you offer the world, find a supportive way to root down, take a Comfortable seat once again, spine long. When you're adjusted, palms connected in front of your heart space. Once you're in the upright seated place, take a moment to notice anything that has shifted for you through your time of practice. And to acknowledge each other's company here, your own intention, whatever it is that you were calling in, and this ability to be an inquiry to explore the biomechanical aspects of the body to play, and to take in how postures in their various forms can unfold and be experienced. To all that, gently bow your head to your own heart, celebrating your wisdom, your strengths. Namaste.